everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Today, we're gonna be cleaning the shop. This is what we call the main heated shop. This building is 50 feet wide and 100 feet long and it's where we do 95% of our repairs. And while it's not really dirty, it's not really clean. For the most part, our toolboxes are pretty well organized. So today we're not gonna worry about tool organization. We're gonna focus on improving the layout of this wall. And we're gonna go through this entire back area and we're gonna go through each and every item and get rid of all the miscellaneous stuff that we don't use. You know what they say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. On the first round here, all we're doing is going through and just finding all the miscellaneous stuff that we don't use. And so far on this back wall, this is everything that we found. This entire pallet here is actually old parts for the combine. By the way, whoever buys the combine gets all this stuff included. This area is all filter stuff, so we didn't really have too much to do over here, but over here we just, we had a lot. Cooper decided to test our spray paint supply, so it's a little cloudy back there. So we're gonna go to the front while that airs out. So now that Cooper and I got our little shenanigans out of the way, we're gonna go test some moisture in the ground to see if we can run the 340, see if we can maybe do some zone building. We still have 120 acres, we need to run the real disc across, but the ground is just a little bit too sticky yet, and these things will plug up if it's wet. But it might be dry enough to run the zone builder. Zach, you're getting in some exercise. Yeah, roll in the gravel. Kind of going off the rule of thumb, if we can grab a handful of it and squeeze it and let go, if it stays clotted together, it's probably too wet. This is borderline, because it crumbles right apart. Just don't want to, you know, really pack the ground, because that thing's moving some dirt hard. <coughs> God, we got a raccoon in there. Since it's too wet to go, Cooper's gonna bring the zone builder back to the dealer. Buy zone builder that we never gotta use. So while we wait for Cooper to get back, so we continue going through the miscellaneous stuff on this wall. I'm gonna try to get all the stuff out of this back area out of here. That way we can power wash this wall and we can also power wash the floor. This spot hasn't been cleaned since March and it's starting to look a little grubby. Oh boy, the last time this thing was out, bad stuff happened.
Besides this barrel sitting here, this is exactly how I want this wall to look. Clean, clean, and clean. Lucky for me, I just have a little bit of miscellaneous stuff left to go through on these shelves, particularly on the top. And then we'll burn down this side of the shop real quick. And then I think tomorrow, We'll go through and we'll really start to organize everything. Today we're just focusing on getting the miscellaneous stuff out. And tomorrow we'll actually start cleaning up and organizing. I'm just pretty blown away by the amount of miscellaneous stuff we found on this back shelf. And it's kind of funny that about a year ago to the day, I was doing this exact same thing. The back 20 feet of the shop used to be shelving that was like six feet high. And then we had rows over here and it was just a chaotic mess. So then when we got the library shelves, we put everything up on there, but then you about have to just sit and wait a while to see the stuff that you actually use and don't use because there's some stuff over here that's really good stuff, but we just don't use it. So I go off a rule of thumb, if we haven't even thought about it in a year, we probably don't need it. I found an entire box full of old ratty gloves. I have two hands, why do we have 400 gloves? Another oil container. All I have left to go through is under this bench, this wooden cabinet, and then the two bolt racks. Actually, I haven't gone through those two shelves, these three shelves, those tools, all of these bolts, or this pile of buckets. But other than those things, I have gone through every single item in the shop one at a time. I guess I've not gone through this toolbox yet either. But I'm gonna call it a night. I'm running out of places to put my trash and I'm also running out of places to put scrap metal that I'm finding. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna bring the enclosed trailer and back it in here because a lot of this good stuff that was on the shelves, we're just gonna bring to an auction and sell it. And I'm also gonna bring the skid loader over. That way we can load up a bunch of this trash and I need it to lift this 55 gallon barrel of oil to put it in one of those big containers. Ugh. 